Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys the best competitive search and destroy class setups for Call of Duty World War 2 and the meta has definitely changed since this recent update so I've been getting tons of requests to make this video and I'm gonna make it just for you guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video and learn something new, please hit that like button. Let's try to hit 50 likes. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. I do a ton of tips and tricks videos like God Spots and all kinds of tips and tricks videos. So if you guys haven't seen all my tips and tricks videos for World War 2 so far, you should definitely go check those out because it's gonna make you a better player and also I apologize for not having a face cam in this video if you've noticed I've been having some issues with it lately I'm not really sure what's wrong with it so hopefully it'll be fixed for the next video also I still have a face cam on twitch.tv forward slash Isaac MLG that is my live stream so you can come watch me play wagers and stuff like that and I will still have a face cam perfectly working but anyway I'm gonna stop plugging myself let's get right into these class setups Alright, getting into the first class, this is an FG42 class and it's a stacked one. You can use this in Respawn and Search and Destroy since it has Inconspicuous. I use the Duple Reticle for all my red dots by the way, but I use Infantry with the FG42, Reflex, Grip, and Quick Draw. This gun is super good with Quick Draw because it does aim in pretty slow, so Quick Draw helps accommodate for that. Also, the Inconspicuous basic training, so I'm a little bit more silent in Search and Destroy. And if you walk around or crouch with Inconspicuous, you can't be heard, but if you sprint, you can sort of be heard and it's not anywhere as near as bad with no inconspicuous and no mountain so anytime you're not using mountain definitely use inconspicuous in search and destroy also I have the machine pistol with the extended mags extended mags and the frag grenade also, it's worth mentioning that I use the machine pistol and the frag grenade for the secondary and lethal on every single class because the machine pistol is the only secondary that's good, especially with like mags. And then the frag grenade is super useful with the nade spots. And I'll show you all the nade spots in my new series that I'm going to have. And I keep saying that, but I promise you the nade spots are going to be coming out very soon. Within the next couple of days, I'll start the series for sure. But this second class is my fast FG42 class. I use Airborne and Inconspicuous. They're a really solid combo in Search and Destroy because you can get to power positions before your opponent with Airborne because you run faster. And then Inconspicuous is going to help you be silent throughout the round so you have a chance at clutching 1v1 situations a lot easier. And then the FG42 with just Reflex and Grip, that's what I'm using on pretty much every FG42 class unless I have three attachments. Also, the machine pistol and the frag grenade. And the final FG42 class that I have is a Mountain Hunker FG42 with Reflex Grip, Machine Pistol, Extended Mags, and Frag Grenade. The basic training Hunker is going to allow you to soak up grenades. This is a really solid 5-5 class, so you're not going to be getting killed with nades and stuff like that. And Mountain is going to keep you silent throughout the whole round, so you have a lot more playability with this class. You don't have to worry about nades. You can sprint around as much as you want, and it's a really solid FG42 class for Search and Destroy. Alright, now moving on to the bar classes that I have. After the recent update that made the bar a little bit worse, it's definitely still a solid assault rifle. I use this on most of the maps that I play in Search and Destroy, unless I'm playing like London Docks or something like that, then I'll definitely pull out the FG42. But you're going to notice a similar setup with these classes. The only thing that's really changing is the primary. So I'm just going to kind of run through these bar classes quick. I have an infantry inconspicuous bar. You can use this in respawn and search and destroy. And what I'm using for attachments is the reflex grip and extended mags. This gun only has 20 shots and it has a pretty fast fire rate. So I'd recommend using extended mags over any other attachment if you can have three attachments. If not, then I would just recommend quick draw and reflex. The next class that I have is an inconspicuous and airborne bar class with reflex and grip. This is my favorite bar class for search and destroy. I use it all the time. You can get to power position super quick. I love using this on USS Texas and all kinds of stuff like that. You can just get to places really fast and your opponents aren't going to expect it. You can get up to those head glitches and just melt people with this gun. And now for my bar mountain hunker class, I just have the bar reflex grip mountain or mountain pistol machine pistol extended mags and frag grenade hunker so you can soak up the grenades and then mountain so you can sprint around and move freely throughout the map now moving on to the submachine gun classes that i have this is a respawn class for the most part but i do use it on samadhi dumont and i can't roll my r's so i definitely said that wrong but i use the ppsh with quick draw and grip you can run long barrel if you have three attachments but for this class you can't machine pistol frag grenade and then hunker so you can take the grenades and then airborne because you really need airborne on every ppsh class for the most part so you can get to places quicker this is the ideal class if you want to have a submachine gun and run straight to b-bomb on samadhi dumont it's really solid because you're going to get there super fast you can run straight through the grenades and you can get to the bomb head glitch and just melt your opponents and then the next ppsh class that i have is literally the 
exact same class but you just change the basic training hunker to inconspicuous and it's really solid because you can run to those power positions and then once you're there you can just walk around from there and not be heard and it's just a solid PBSH class that you should run on every map besides Samadhi Dumont then I would recommend using that hunker class. And then finally for the sniper class I use mountain so I'm totally silent and you can hold your breath and everything goes black and you get a little bit of aim assist and stuff like that and then scoped because it allows you to have less idle sway and you can strafe left to right quicker and line up your shots quicker and easier and it's a really solid basic training you should use it on your mountain classes too if you want to just have a mountain scope AR or something that could be another solid setup but I use the M1903 with the ballistic thing that makes it less idle sway so that works with scoped and then extended mags because FMJ got banned and I use the M19 just because I don't really like the car 98 I feel like it's really connection based I find myself shooting through people with that gun but if you can't use this sniper and you can only use the car 98 or if you would just rather use the car 98 just throw that on same attachments and it's gonna work perfectly fine it's all personal preference as long as you're getting your first bloods but I guess that's gonna about wrap it up so if you guys did enjoy this video and learn some new classes please hit that like button subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos and I will see you guys in the next video also I'm gonna be streaming later on today so I would definitely love it if you guys would tune by because it really just makes me happy when I see people in the chat and I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> goodbye